CCO spiritually. I wouldn't say I was completely like lost or oblivious or unknowing. I grew up in a Catholic house and so I definitely knew the basics of spirituality and religion, but it was not a personal relationship by any means. It was not something I'd committed to or something I'd put a lot of time into or even something that would cross my mind on a daily basis. It was very like routine. I feel like having a deep relationship with Christ and being you know, close to Jesus has always been something that I've really wanted and it's something that I've really admired in other people. When I meet other people that have Christ-centered lives, it's just like jaw-dropping and I love it and I wanted that, but I think I didn't feel worthy of that relationship. And I think the main thing that Discovery taught me was that that's not what Catholicism is about. It's not about being perfect and it's not about never making mistakes like I thought those people were like. It's about just having that commitment to Christ and the commitment to always come back. And I think that was like revolutionary in my life that I've never ever had before. I didn't have to be like this perfect human being. It was all just about love. Life can be really, really crazy, can get really hectic. And Jesus more than anything else just grounds me and it's something that I can always fall back on and I think that commitment has really done that for me because then now I know that no matter what happens that Jesus will always, always be there no matter what mistake is made. So yeah, when things get tough, when things get crazy or even when things get good, having that relationship with Christ and knowing how to pray and you know taking those moments to be silent and mindful and grateful have really been extremely influential on my life.